All right, guys, just a couple of things real quick. Uh, this is the latest version of the Keep Alive application. Uh, I've done a couple of, couple of, uh, well, actually a lot of work on the application. Um, I took out um, some things that weren't working right in it, such as uh, the background audio connections and stuff like that. Um, and I switched over and uh, played with the way it works right now, and it should be a lot more stable and should, should fix a lot of issues uh, that people are having with their devices. Um, so I'm releasing a beta version for it right now um, as Homebrew. And then um, if the Homebrew version works, then I'll go ahead and update the one that's over on the Windows Phone Marketplace. Um, so the new version is um, a lot more streamlined. Basically, you open it up, it says Keep Alive, on or off. So I'll hit the toggle switch, switch it on. And if you can see back there, it connects over to the server. And then you can actually close out the application and uh, do other things on your device and keep the Keep Alive running. And if you need to turn it off or want to turn it off or whatever, just hit that and it disconnects from the server. Um, so that's actually a bit of an improvement from the old version, which had, due to some of the things in the operating system, you could actually uh, get in a state where you could uh, not, where you would not be able to turn off Keep Alive unless you uh, uninstall the application. So that issue is fixed, and also you'll be able to run uh, background audio and other things while this application is running as well. Uh, so that's definitely a big improvement. Um, and also a couple of things with the connection and the way the data is sent uh, should definitely keep things a lot more stable. Um, a quick point though, if you run Keep Alive and turn it on, um, every time before you turn off the screen on your device, um, you know, maybe every day or so, you should go in and open up the Keep Alive application again. Um, just to have it reset the connections um, because otherwise the operating system might just sort of time out the connections and then keep alive won't work anymore. Um, so that's this is all in in theory this works when I tested it on my local server it worked uh, really well. I had my phone for about a day just sort of sitting there connected and no issues happened. So I'm um, going I'm releasing the homebrew version of this uh, over on WindowsPhoneHacker.com as a beta. You can try it out and give me feedback as to whether or not it works and if it works then I'll go ahead and uh, get it uploaded into the Windows Phone Marketplace for you guys. So uh, hopefully this will work, and if you have any questions, let me know. And um, you know, if it works or doesn't work, uh, specifically if it doesn't work, uh, then uh, give me some feedback on that. So other than that, have a great day.